Yeah. Uh, wacha turudi kwa waziri wa afya ambapo wanaendelea kuzungumzia na kusiana na mikakati ya kupambana na corona. Surgery to see whether we can be able to uh, to, to increase the oxygen cylinder a supply via reduction of some of the taxes but this is a discussion that we need to get uh, together with the industry we are also as a ministry going to work through the ppb uh, the, to make sure the certification of gas suppliers is a uh, uh, fast track even within keeping in mind the quality the ability of those uh, suppliers but nonetheless a uh, ppb has been requested to try and fast track any certification necessary to gas supply companies so that we can increase our, our capacity. Uh, in addition to standardization of the plants, the ministry is also looking at the, at the possibilities of creating a policy where we are more at home uh, with the lease of plants, of uh, oxygen plants, rather than the purchase of oxygen plants. We have all seen the challenges of maintenance, the requirements in terms of qualification of people who maintain these plants. There are so many issues involved, the process of purity of the oxygen, and therefore we are keener to look at the policy of a uh, lease rather than uh, purchase of uh, oxygen plants. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to once again thank those of you who are in the industry, we are going, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Marion from uh, BOC to give you a little bit more about this issue of oxygen and also introduce some of the colleagues she has got as representatives of this industry. Marion, please. Thank you, Waziri. And um, Madam Pierce, it was, it was a very good meeting today and we really appreciate being involved in this combined effort that the government is having towards this this situation that we are in as a country. It is a crisis, we agree it's a crisis, and we need all the help we can get from patients, from hospitals, and from other decision makers that are, are holding tanks and are holding decisions around oxygen supply. Before I introduce the industry participants who came here today, I just want to re-emphasize on the two points that the, the Waziri has explained now. If you're holding cylinders at home, or in the hospital for non-COVID or non-emergency care, please return them to us. We've lost many, many cylinders in the last few months. Any cylinder you have in your hands can save uh, somebody's life. And if it is not in use, it is actually um, being missed, missed out in another, in another hospital. Um, I want to just thank everybody for, for those who, who have been very patient with us during this time. We are now supplying oxygen on a day-to-day -day basis, rationing what we have. Uh, so that every hospital ca can find, and also for the industrial customers who continue to understand that we are focusing on, on, on medical cylinders and not industrial, because this is a, a, a situation that we all have to come together. We're very keen, our Waziri, to work with the ministry going, 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 going forward uh, to, pro to give you the information on what we can do and what additional resources or support systems that we need, and we already appreciate the support that you gave us this morning. So as BOC Gases, I'm here with John Kamau, our healthcare engineer. Uh, thank you, John, very much for especially working very hard to put in piping in the hospitals, which was actually the second big, big priority to pipe the hospitals. Um, I'm here with Raj from Gas Africa, and um, we've got Synergy Jaspal from Synergy Gases on, 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 on that side. Um, thank you much, very much, everybody, and thank you, Waziri, for this opportunity. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Raj, you want to say anything? Yep, thank you uh, very much, the CS, for the audience this morning, and PS, and the Ministry for uh, supporting all our gas manufacturers, packers, distributors uh, within Kenya. Um, obviously, being uh, competitors, we have to take the decision what is right. Uh, life will always come first. It is right that we come together, find the solutions, whether it's PSA plants, erection, installation, commissioning, um, Gas Africa are here, obviously, to promote that uh, in, into the hospitals. Uh, John, uh, BOC is obviously fronting that uh, also, uh, as are our friends now on, at uh, Synergy Gas. Um, just to echo Marion uh, and CS, any cylinders that you're holding in excess or by bedsides or in homes or you find belonging to any of our companies or any indeed of those manufacturers that couldn't be present today, 
if they could be brought back or notify those manufacturers, they can be recalled. Uh, we're making all efforts uh, to the healthcare industry. We've also sent out circulars to industries to say that we will only be filling medical cylinders in the foreseeable future. We are here to serve the people of Kenya. We appreciate your patience. Uh, we are delivering through the night. We are running day shift, night shift, 24-7. We are open to collections. Uh, kindly bear with us. Uh, we know your orders have increased five, six-fold in some cases. We, we are trying to serve all of our customers. We're not taking on any new customers. We're splitting all the production capacity that we have. Um, so we would like you just to bear with us as we are also investing in capacity in cylinders, in plants, trying to uh, come to SLAs with other companies to pack for us. We are here to serve you. Uh, we would appreciate your ongoing understanding and uh, thank you once again to the ministry and CS and PS for their audience this morning and uh, Marion and the team at BOC. Thank you very much. Uh, Santa Sana, Falgun, you have anything to add? No? Okay, um, as I said today, the, this particular uh, session was essentially uh, to brief you on oxygen and to bring to light to Kenyans just how important you know, this particular issue is. What we are talking about, um, fellow Kenyans, is actually air. It's, it's, it's the same as you are breathing right now. You know, it is exactly the same situation if somebody is unwell and they do not have gas, this uh, oxygen, it is the same as you holding your nose and not breathing. That's what it means. So if you can appreciate that, if you can appreciate that uh, you just hold your breath and that's permanent, then you can appreciate why it is so important and why we are here this morning. And I particularly want to, 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 to appeal to the media in this country, uh, social media, I want to appeal to you members of the fourth estate to please make this a priority in terms of communication, in terms of appeals to the people who might have these cylinders to please bring, bring them back. We need them as a matter of urgency uh, so that we can be able to continue saving lives. Other than that, the rest of the briefing will come um, through the normal channels at uh, a later time. Thank you all very much. Any questions? I, I think the only thing to add is uh, the issue of uh, the actual demand uh, in the industry and what has transpired over the last only a uh, couple of months. Um, last year, we were to, we, the, the total production and requirement for the industry was about 410 tons. That quickly went up around uh, January to about 560 tons. We are now heading for demand of double what we started at 410, at 880 tons. So where the, the situation at the moment is such that the industry is completely stretched. And if we go any further than that, then some uh, immediate steps will be, have to be taken. I also want to uh, uh, take this opportunity to also thank the industry that normally uses uh, the oxygen or supply from the companies that are here today particularly the horticultural industry, the food industries that use a lot of, um, that use supplies from these companies because some of them have stopped the industrial production so that they can concentrate on health. This is going to inconvenience the industry a lot, but we beg for their understanding. At the moment, the idea is to save lives first, and then we can deal with other things later. Asanteni, thank you all very, very much indeed. but one is related. You've spoken about piping of uh, oxygen in hospitals. So far, how many hospitals have been uh, have uh, piped oxygen in the country? And uh, the second question is about a vac vaccine. Uh, I've seen a research which states that uh, women are coping well, pregnant women are coping well with the vaccines. So I don't know whether you've received that research. And if you have, is it going to maybe uh, uh, make you to review uh, whatever guidelines you had before on uh, those who are to be vaccinated? Thank you. OK, thank you. Um, Raquel, <laughs> Raquel Mugain, Citizen TV. 
Um, what is the plan by the ministry in terms of uh, vaccines? Are we able, will we receive the batch that we had expected in April, given that India had now put a suspension, temporarily hold the uh, imports? Secondly, are there any plans to cushion Kenyans against the new measures, the partial lockdown that has now seen other businesses close? And also, what is the status of the variants that are now in the country in terms of also the spread? Yes. Thank you very much. Um, uh, first, uh, Mutani, on the issue of the number of uh, plants, we have about 75, 75 uh, plants in the country. But as I said, there are some of those that are not operational. So the question is uh, to try and revive those that are in operation so that by the end of the day, we have got clarity about exactly how many plants are working. Under the support of the World Bank, there are other six plants that uh, we are going to quickly um, uh, plant across the, across the country in various regions in accordance with the assessment of uh, our donors. Uh, in terms of uh, research, uh, the information we have right now from uh, the World Health Organization apparently is that um, below 18, persons of below 18 and uh, pregnant uh, ladies are we are not vaccinating in this country, but of course, we are also following trends elsewhere and uh, information that come from the experts. So if the experts come and say that that is the position, then we will go with that position. Um, we guy on the issue of uh, the April arrival, we believe we are still pushing and we are working with India on this uh, particular issue. We have got our diplomatic, uh, we have rolled out our diplomatic um, assets to ensure that um, we get the vaccines when we are supposed to. And I, I, and I think it is important for us to appreciate that it is not a Kenya situation. In this particular instance, it's actually an Africa-wide situation. By now, under the COVAX facility, we are supposed to have received 40 million doses for the African continent. Currently, we have, already, we, have, we, have just, we, have, we have just received 12 million doses. So you can see the gap that is there. And uh, our appeal, not just to India, but to other countries, is that we reduce vaccine nationalism so that uh, there is fair and transparent uh, uh, distribution of uh, vaccines. So we are, uh, we are working on this. We are working with the, with, the, with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Kenya, working with the, the Indian uh, Embassy here in Nairobi to ensure that uh, we get what has been promised. Because on the basis of the promises, we make certain plans. We start vaccinating on that basis. And therefore, we would like to believe that uh, the suppliers are going to live up to the expectations and to their promises. On the issue of uh, the partial lockdowns and uh, what we are going to do, of course, uh, we always meet up. You remember the last time that is exactly what happened. We meet up as a government, as a, a non-agency approach or ministry's approach to discuss and find out what is it we can uh, be able to do to ease the, the, the very, very expensive. Um, it's very expensive for, for, for people, particularly in the business sector to see what, what we can do. But I cannot give you a specific, um, uh, a specific answer to that right now. The variants, as I said, and as uh, we reported last week, essentially what we have here is a, con is, con is a continuing variant that we had all the way from last year. However, there has been detected, there has been detected some other variants. For example, the British variant, uh, as well as uh, the South African variant towards this, particularly to, to, to the south with the border with the, uh, Tanzania. But so far, the dominant variant that we have is still the same one that we have always had. Thank you very much indeed.